Oh, shut up, you waste man. No. Shut up, you dickhead. Yo, what's good, everyone? How's everyone doing today? Hope you're having a good day. We're on 5M. It's the first video of many. So, what I'm going to do on this channel is I'm just going to do a few guides, a few videos, you know, all that good stuff. Obviously, we're just vibing right now. Don't really know what else to do, to be honest. This video is going to consist of many things. I'm going to show you guys how to do texture loss. Show you guys how to do an FPS boost. Please do put the bell notification on. Just do whatever you want. I, I don't know. Just put the bell notification on. Subscribe. So. Without further ado, guys. All right, then. So let's get this video started. So you're in 5M, right? So what you need to do is press your escape button, go all the way over to your settings, and then go down to your graphics. And as you can see, I've got the video memory three gigs out of six. You know, obviously that's kind of low, so it's not too bad, but the city still looks nice. So if we actually go down, we see all this. You may have this on. Turn it all off. So you got off, off, off. V sync. Okay, this is where people get confused now. So this is why this causes texture loss, right? So V sync is turned on. So V sync locks your game to 60 FPS. V sync off locks your game to 30 FPS. And V sync off locks your game to absolutely nothing. So it'll be uncapped. So you'll be getting 100 something plus FPS if your graphics card is good enough i'm going to be using on so it locks to 60 so it's a smooth experience but yet not choppy but it looks good so what you need to do is go down 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 turn this all the way down population density variety and scaling turn them all the way off we don't need any of them and it's just using your graphics that you don't need so if we go down you see the extended texture budget make sure this is over halfway this is a new thing that's just come out it's not that new but it's like it's new enough to help you mess around with the graphic so make sure that's over halfway and your texture quality always has to be normal less you've got an amazing computer so i think just the texture quality and everything else is completely fine so as long as the texture quality is normal and everything can be high normal medium i don't know whatever you want basically and that's pretty much it and then what we're going to do is go to the advanced graphics make sure you got full screen or full screen windowed or you can play or play windowed uh, resolution your native um native resolution aspect ratio is completely the same or whatever auto long shadows off 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 we don't need any of that extended distance scaling turn that all the way up that is something that we completely need that's it for the settings so once you've saved all of them you can go ahead and open up the game once again so you want to go into the task manager and once we're in the task manager if you press f and your 5m should pop up here you want to click this down arrow click on the click on the name of your server but make sure you're right clicking on it go to details once you're on the details a bunch of files will be running Make sure you click on the GTA 5 process.exe, click on this. You want to set priority, set this to high, change the priority. And what this will do is if you're setting this as a priority, you're prioritizing this over everything else on your computer. So that means that your CPU will prioritize this game itself. So it uses all the power, I guess, I don't know, uh, into the game and you should be fine. I think that's everything else. If you really want to do an FPS boost, just make sure everything is completely normal on the game. That is completely it. But thank you very much for watching. See you guys in the next video. I'm not the place in this buggy, my enemies call me, I am the worst version of myself.